Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy, Thug and D. How you feel? How you living me? God bless you. It's another episode of New Era Boxing and Bets TV, where we bringing that real boxing talk. Like, subscribe, leave a comment for feedback. The day we going to be talking about September 30th. The big fight between Canelo and Jamal Charlo. But I'm not a big fan of this fight. And I'm going to tell y'all why. Because I feel as though Canelo should be fighting someone in his weight class. Like Benavidez and Boo Boo. And the crazy thing is, they let him get away with this stuff. The fans, they turn their head. They don't say nothing about it. And these are the same fans that turn around and shit on Tank Resume. For the same shit they praise Canelo about. And it's sad, man. Like, it's really weird, for real. It's sad and it's weird and it's terrible, my nigga. Because I sit up here and watch y'all narrative pushing channels. Don't got shit to say about this shit. Like, we thought it was the big brother, Charlo. But now y'all find out the Lord, brother. Y'all do a Lord complaining, but then y'all throw that shit under the rug. Like, it ain't nothing. That's crazy. And another thing. Bug got all these belts at 147. Yeah, we gonna talk about that too. But I ain't fighting nobody at 147. You got all the belts at 147. But you ain't trying to fight nobody at 147. We don't want to see that rematch at 147. Sorry, buddy. We don't want to see that shit. The same with Haney, too, bro. Like... You got all the belts at 135. Yeah, you just did some champion and recess shit with the WBC. So I know you up there to stay. You are never, you are, you moving funny too, my nigga. So bang. Y'all be like, these belts matter. The belts matter. But yeah, y'all let niggas hold on to the belts. And don't got shit to say about it. They talking about running to another division and all that. But y'all don't got shit to say about that shit. Y'all watch these sanctioning bodies do some of the most corrupted shit you can see in this sport. And not even enforcing the best to fight the best. Like it's all money at the end of the day. Like for instance. Tank beat one of the top three names on the WBC lightweight rankings. Do you think the WBC got Tank ranked on that list? No. And nobody question these things. We got to tighten up, man. We got to tighten up. Y'all be talking all this crazy shit, but y'all watch these sanctioning bodies move crooked as shit. Don't say nothing about it. Y'all got these fighters complaining about a 3% and all that. You feel me? But y'all turn y'all head to certain shit. But I understand. That's why a tank gonna just roll his boat. You heard? We gonna keep the tank rolling. And then. We got. But other than that, bro. I ain't even ready to get into that, bro. Other than that. We got some decent fight this weekend. Like we got Ugas coming off a layoff. To fight Barrios. Then you got Lubin versus Ramos that could easily still fight it tonight, in my opinion. I'm still up in the air with the Lubin, but my final picks Friday, it might be Canelo, Ramos, and Barrios. I don't trust them layoffs. But Lubin was another fighter who came off a layoff his last fight, and he delivered. So hopefully, all guys might pull it off. But I'm just laying the bios. And with that being said, we going to end this one right here on New Era Boxing and Bets TV. Like, subscribe, leave a comment for feedback.